subreddit the other day and everyone was talking about uh, this. So I'm going to do a live reaction to this. This is Mandy Hench. She's an iconic impressionista, seven figure bling boss in paparazzi and she opened a storefront recently. Now if you're thinking your ears are going crazy, they are. She doesn't have her sound on yet. So she's talking, doing a live, but no one can hear her. So she's like, hey, everybody, welcome. Come. So, yeah, she'll eventually start talking. It will be a jump scare. I'm just giving you a heads up now. So everyone's like, we can't hear you. We just can't hear her. But she opened a storefront, you guys. And uh, I just, before we get started, do you want to grab a chair? Oh, I, I got to come and watch this. Yeah. Before we get started, um... This is just to talk about the inventory loading aspect of multi-level marketing. Now, you guys need to remember, Mandy has been uh, with Paparazzi Jewelry and Accessories for over 10 years. And she has opened a storefront. And when you see all that is in this store, I, I don't know about you, but it makes me physically ill. Okay? So, I'll move the microphone so you guys can hear David and I together. Together. We're going to do this together. All right, here we go. Okay, can you hear me now? 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 I turn off my Bluetooth. So, you should be good to go. And yes, the video is off. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Yes, okay. Can we this just skip to the good part? I would like to. Um, this video is downloaded to my Google Drive, which is why the, the video quality sucks. All right. Who wants to shop? Who wants to see what we got? I mean, if you want to come down here, you totally should. If you guys are local, um, our store is at 121 North Main Street, Suite 3 in Camden. Okay. So, and there's some ambulances. Hello, hello. Happy Saturday. Who wants to see our store? I would love to. All right. You're going to see it anyway if you don't. Here we go. Flipping the screen. All right. We don't have our sign up front yet because we, not anything on us, but just didn't happen. So we have. So the fact that she has two, two sides of a storefront blows my Our $5 jewelry, our iconic sparkle signs. Who wants to go in? Do you guys want to go in? Should we go in? Let's see. All right. We're going in. Oh, I'm live now. Tell them bye-bye. <laughs> okay, so the lady on the screen right now um, is another A-lister or something with paparazzi. That's quite the pause. Um, it is an, I, you know, I don't do the pauses on purpose, but she is a paparazzi elite as well. I don't know her name, but I know she's elite. Are you sure? Yes, because she went on the all-in tour. In the house. <laughs> See, she traveled all the way from Jacksonville, you guys. If she can be here, you guys can come visit me at some time. She came from Jacksonville to Delaware to go to this grand opening of racks and racks and racks of paparazzi jewelry and accessories. Here's the thing. 
that person is elite, so she can afford the plane ticket. She's making six figures probably. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming. But it's like, that's great. She can go support her papa's sister, but not everybody has the kind of money to just go up to Delaware for a paparazzi storefront grand opening. Jacksonville, Florida, so they won't know it's North Carolina. Yeah, oh yeah, Jacksonville, Florida. So we have our towers. These are spinnies. So we have spinny rack here. Debt. Yeah, a seven-figure earner who gets a ton of money from her downline and then immediately gives it back to paparazzi. Kind of what I'm seeing, too. Yeah. More bracelets. All of these earrings, obviously. Just go around and around and around. When the musical chair stops, We have these. I love those. All these spin. All these fan. We have bracelets. This is another spinny bracelet. Rack. More spinny earrings. Hello, you guys. Is that their no, they do. Because they count how much you buy Bob Ross, not how much you actually sell. There is stuff on those spinnies from when I was a consultant. All these. And these. And these. I feel bad because you know she's going to have a hard time selling. There's lava bee bracelets from when I was a consultant. Oh my god, the wall. That in just a minute. This is our. I mean, if she were buying the jewelry for less, this might make sense. So. That's all urbans, and they're all the leather snappy bracelets. I mean, Jesus. All these are urbans. Like Thank tug and you. poles. Yeah. They're tug and poles. So keep in mind how much you have to sell to break and even. An urban now imagine that for and all of this, urban. you have to sell over half to break and even. Some more. Just to break even, not to make a profit, to break even. Here's my question: Is is she paying for staff to help? Yeah, land yeah, more? and then add to that the lease of this place, the cost of uh, whoever's working there, uh, the cost of all the shelving and whatnot. Oh my God, this puts me in pain. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, I'm just. Let me just. But she must be a true believer because she's. She's giving it all back to paparazzi. There's the, the, all the things, I can't remember what this is, but the stupid ribbon thing in blue, that was the life of the party bring back when I was a consultant. They don't make that in blue. It's a blockbuster, but they only bring it out in blue every so often, but I'm, oh. Okay. We have the Bob Ross Show. Oh, oh man. man. Oh. She'd have to be selling so much jewelry for this uh, to make sense. Oh my gosh. I'm speeding it up because it's painful. Yeah, it goes. Okay, how much How much did the lady in the wheelchair buy? She's got at least one cashier she's got to pay. Oh, she has the sports section, so she knows that she got all that. Like I said, that might make sense if you were paying pennies. But the fact that she's paying... What is it, 250 265 275 275 for all of, that's what it's for wholesale now? That's the wholesale price. And selling for $5, like, ugh. So every one that isn't sold eats up the profit from one that is sold and then sold. I'm just turning down the music because we're, that's, ugh. That is so old. That yellow and blue piece is so old. Oh, she has the bracelet that Danielle Baker is selling for cheap on her website. See, I think of this stuff like avocados, right? If if you auto, avocados go bad really fast, so if you're selling five avocados but three of them go bad, you can't break even. That's the same kind of thing going on here. She bought like tens of thousands of items of jewelry, but Unless she can sell, like, 80% of them, she won't make a profit. This is all the day the mermaid died. I mean... <laughs> and, I mean, they she... might not be avocados. They don't go bad. But, like, they do go out of style. And just some are just not going to be popular. 
because they're you know they're designs that aren't the the most popular for whatever reason because of their color because I'm just looking yeah oh, God, so there's no way painful. she's gonna be able to sell enough to make a profit here oh look it's a wall of paparazzi pink and like why does why have a storefront can't she really sell more with this storefront than she could on on Facebook I don't know. She'd have to bring I don't in, know. She'd have to bring in a shit ton of uh, foot traffic. That's all I gotta say. Well, what's funny is what reminded me of this is that someone posted that they came across it. Did you slow on it the anti MLM subreddit? Yes, I slowed it down <laughs> because I'm showing off oh. the massive amounts of money on these walls. And even if she could, bring, there is millions of dollars. And even if she can, hundreds of thousands can of dollars bring in the foot foot traffic. Why is she going through paparazzi? She could just buy this jewelry from... That's a life of the party piece from when I was a consultant! She could just buy jewelry from China herself, cut... And do this! Cut paparazzi out of the loop and buy it for a fraction wholesale. Right? Mandy, if you're listening to my husband, that is exactly how paparazzi jewelry and accessories got started. They were buying this wholesale from China for themselves. Yeah, why are you paying them? They're not helping your storefront. Because she just became a seven-figure bling boss. She's earning commissions off of the downline uh, through their inventory purchases, and this is aspiring her downline to do the same thing. I guess, but your downline's not going to make any money off this building. These are so ugly. Look, it's a whole thing of iridescent crystal rhinestone stuff. She has a whole thing of them. Oh, my God, I have those in oil slick. Like, if this were a real business, the break-even point would be, like, never. <laughs> yeah, especially with all of this. You would have to never buy any new uh, inventory, and you would have to sell out over half your jewelry to hit the break-even point. And even if she was selling a hundred pieces a day, let's say... Oh my gosh. Is it, it covering the overhead? It would take years just to hit that break-even point. And here's the thing. Does she have a setup in the back office or the back room for her to go live from her storefront? And, and plus, I was saying that's if she didn't buy any new uh, inventory. inventory. You know, once some of these, uh, if she actually does sell some of these, she's just going to replace the inventory, right? Yeah, with new stuff. Oh, my God, the butterflies. Oh, my gosh, the feathers. I have those. <laughs> but it's going to... Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I have those in black and white. Oh, my God. And she has two sides yeah. of this store. Look at all the blockbusters Why would you not just buy this yourself? What is what is paparazzi adding to the equation here? Um, The stupid little the tag. Name, the name tag? The tag and the holder. Tell me. Any, and the anyone, piles of plastic. Anyone who sold paparazzi, do you think your customers would not buy the jewelry from you? If it didn't have the paparazzi logo on it, if you were selling five dollar jewelry that looked almost exactly the same, but it didn't say paparazzi, do you think they'd still buy it? Because I think they would. I would rather buy it if it didn't say paparazzi. And honestly, but that's just me. Honestly, once you take it out and put it on, it doesn't say paparazzi anymore. Nope, it doesn't. So it's not like a Louis Vuitton where you're like wearing it to show off that you bought this. Those are lifestyle brands, and you wear them to show off that you bought them. But this can't be a lifestyle brand because the minute you take it out of the package, nobody's gonna know it's not. Or it's paparazzi. We have a whole family section. Family. Oh, oh look, God. there's all the beach pieces from when I was a consultant. Holy shit! I'm just seeing all the stuff I had when I was oh, a consultant. This just tells you she she hasn't. She's been, been inventory loading yeah. for years. Oh my gosh, the coil iridescent. This is, oh, you know what's sad is this is like a last last ditch attempt to get, well, not last ditch. She's probably still making plenty from her, her downline. downline. But like, she's seen how much jewelry she has. So instead of realizing that she's not selling it, she's like, oh, I should open a store. Yeah. Then I'll have to sell it because there's a store. And the other thing is, is a lot of people that come to the storefronts 
our family members, other paparazzi consultants look at all the starlet shimmer! But, I mean, with this much, she would have to sell more than when she went live. She'd have to sell, like, five times more than when she went live, which the store isn't even that big. No, the store is... Oh. I mean, it's big enough. It's but I bigger mean, than our Great Clips. <laughs> but, I mean, she, she would have more luck just not having the store and hiring four people to go live and sell her stuff for her. Oh, my God. And it's sad because this means she's a true believer, right? Well, yeah, she's been in it for years. Oh, my gosh, the what a gem or whatever stupid, oh, the she's, barrette, she's the just, hair clips and the hair bows. No! She's, she's not just taking money from her downline. Oh, my gosh, she has uh, walls. While not buying much, or my, while not only buying the PV that she absolutely has to for herself, she's, she's reinvesting it. She's going to end up just as broke as everyone in her downline. She has walls of hair clips. Oh, look, it's a wall of fashion fix shit. I'm sure people will come in and buy oh. bunches of jewelry, but not at the not at the rate you need them to be. And you, she can't sell them. You she can't. can't she it's can't, obvious what she's I not mean selling is it. She can't have a sale. She can't have a Christmas sale and decide that buy four get one free or whatever if she did that she's in violation of yeah. compliance one because she if she her get her bottom line couldn't afford it that would mean the break even points even further out and two yeah she wouldn't be in compliance and paparazzi would kick her out okay so if you are um in delaware oh look at all that halloween stuff oh if you are in delaware and you happen to stop by this store um, I, I have questions. One, is there a ask me about how you can do this business to box at the front counter oh God, for is. data mining? Yep. Two, um, is there ever a sale where you buy 12, you get the 13th for free? Because paparazzi allows you to do that. Is, is it, is it posted anywhere in the store? If you buy 12 they, pieces, they you allow get you, one free. Or they won't allow you. Well, they give you the fucking punch card in your starter oh, kit. Oh, okay. A loyalty program, sure. if you will. But yeah, I'm, uh, you know, are those two things being implemented in this store? Because um, when she, oh man, when she, uh, when she was launching this store, she was handing out business cards or address cards in her grand opening. Uh, thing with free pieces of jewelry to her local community. There's another post about yeah, that. She really believes this. Well, which that's what's so sad about MLMs. Half the predators are also victims, right? Yeah. Like she, her downline. She's convincing people in her downline to join, who are going to lose thousands of dollars. But she doesn't see that way because she actually be actually believes it. It even knows she's getting a seven figure check. From paparazzi. She's made seven figures in this paparazzi. Uh, no, that, that year means. From July to now. If she's. It, well, if she does get a check from paparazzi, first of all, half of that is just going to be money returned back to her. Help. Okay, let's let's see what this says. Oh, man. Oh, she's got one of those. Help us reach our goal mm. uh, for what? 1,000 pieces. For the grand opening, she wants to sell a thousand pieces. She's already sold five hundred. She's got two oh. registers here. And honestly, for the amount of inventory she has, that's not nearly enough. No, she that, should be shooting for a goal of that, yeah. five thousand pieces a thousand with the amount the whole... of shit in this store. Oof. Oh, this. Hi, I work for the iconic impressionista, making minimum wage. Which is more than most star consultants make selling this stuff out of their house doing Facebook Lives. Let's be honest, that's probably a friend who's doing it for... Or another paparazzi consultant. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh! What, 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 okay. We're like doing it for free to help out just during the opening. So, help us reach our goal of a thousand pieces. That is her back room. There's at least as much in the back room. Yeah. Okay. It's hard to and... say. Pause. Oh, you can't really tell, but it's there's color a lot. 
loaded bins. There's definitely a lot in there. And there's a lot of balloons in there. I mean, if those are, unless those are all empty. I doubt it. No, I doubt it. I doubt it. it. Oh, look at the all the rings. Which trays no, and trays and trays of rings. Nobody Etsy buys collection. rings. Nobody buys rings. Which is evident because safe oh, by grace. Oh, we're going in the back. Holy shit! So. Oh, what? look! There's another row, and a Karen haircut. You were just making fun of your sister for getting a character. <laughs> I hope she didn't watch this. I hope she hasn't watched this either, but <laughs> you better apologize. Um, Lisa will probably watch it and she'll be like, I don't have a character. Lisa, you don't yeah, have a character. We were talking haircut. about you, Lisa. Yeah, they're full. They're stuffed. Oh my god, yeah. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god. Are, are those outgoing for like off Facebook, I would hope? If those are all from, like, internet orders... Like, oh, I don't think so. That would make sense, but I don't... Yeah, I don't think that's the case. I don't think those are outgoing orders. I We're not listening to her talk, and there's a reason for it. I don't want to hear her voice. But we're just looking at... I'm pretty sure this is inventory, so... I'll, oh, yeah, yeah. That's not all outgoing. I mean, you can't say... Yeah. We sold 500 yeah. units. <laughs> Be happy for us. And then have this many outgoing units in the back. But we, but we got 10,000 in the back. It's so fine. So she's letting people shop the bins in the back? Um, oh, why not? hair clips. This is Scarlet Shimmer and that's Scarlet Shimmer. So, oh, my um, gosh. How much are, in the hole is she? On, well, maybe not because she gets is, a ton from her downline. But Well, you got to remember, she oh she's she's like a pink diamond or something. Yeah, how so, much she, so she gets double hostess rewards. How much PV has she gotten? This is this sad. This storefront has a lot of personal volume. This has got to be like almost... Ten a, years. Like a mirror of... This probably has more... Um, this probably has more jewelry on hand than paparazzi's own warehouse at any given time. I would hope not. Because paparazzi's warehouse, they they only buy what they think they need to buy and then get rid of the rest, right? And send it off to their consultants yeah, yeah. to store in their houses. But just looking at this, So device, they probably don't have this much at any given time. I'm getting anxiety watching this. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot. This goes back years, too. Um, a dollar, but otherwise we're selling I mean, okay. paparazzi might have a, a few starlit shimmers in the back room kind of thing. But like, and then we have... Oof. There's another row. Has she ever sold any of this? <laughs> no. Miss Faith. Say, tell them to come shop. They come shop. Yes. Convince your child no, to tell people to come shop. This. Okay. It's fine. She's eating she her popcorn. Her, her popcorn. <laughs> you have to do this. She really oh, that's so much. And I mean, um, yeah, no shade if you go here and buy jewelry. Oh. It, you know. No, I. I mean, here's other the thing. than other than. Keep if, in mind, there might be lead and nickel. In if that. she was not an active paparazzi consultant, I would probably sh go shopping. But the fact that she is the tippy top of the pyramid, she's an iconic impressionista with paparazzi jewelry and accessories. And she has a massive downline. I, I wouldn't support this business. I mean, her I would rather shop from a going out of business group or from one of the people that watches my channel and they're in a going out of business group. Yeah, this is just keep in mind how much she would have to sell for this business to make sense. Right. For every one that isn't sold, it eats up the profit from one that is. Let's just keep it 50, keeping it real 50 50, which it's actually more. Every unsold one eats up all the profit and then a little bit more. But if we just keep it like every unsold one erases the profit from one that you sold, she would have to sell this much jewelry. Everything you're seeing, she would have to sell that much just to break even. I'm just thinking of the Frank's garage right now. And I'm thinking about all the stuff she has in these yeah. bins. So imagine this is a burger place and each one of those bins is filled with the burger. But for some reason, every nobody wants to buy your burger. Yeah, every unsold burger is uh, takes away the profit of a sold burger. Imagine how many burgers you would have to sell before you even broke even. The amount of waste in this. Oh. There's a reason McDonald's doesn't have rows and rows of burgers already cooked up <laughs> for days in advance. Mandy, what did you do? 
Why did you buy so much? Yeah. I mean, the I have a serious question. Why? Why did you buy so much and, inventory? And I know bur this isn't like burgers will go bad, but like, oh my gosh, it still means you have to sell so much of this jewelry before your. Uh, did you make a business plan? When's, if, if this, when's your break even point? Is this a business plan? Because I think this is. I think okay, pump and dump. I think she is leasing this storefront for a few months. She carted all of her inventory over she's, here to get a tax write-off. She still bought all this inventory. The Honestly, the only way this makes sense to me... Is if she's trying to offload it and as even, quickly as possible and, and get out. And but even, she just made seven figures. And even then, it doesn't really make sense. Is if this is like a co-op. She's running the store... And all this inventory comes from a bunch of people in her downline. Oh, I doubt that. Who she's gonna, you know, when she sells it, she'll give them their cut. But she'll probably, but then it only makes sense one if she takes like a percentage off the top, which makes it even harder for them to break even. <laughs> like if she's just running the storefront for like her top twenty downline, that might make sense. But even that would just be like a dumb idea. But just for her to have bought all this jewelry, why? 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 If you have this much jewelry, you, you have to have sold this much jewelry before it makes any sense. To buy this much. Yeah. And even if you did, even if, say, she could show her records from the past 10 years and she sold, what what do you think this is, 50,000, 100,000 pieces? More than that. Let's say 50,000. Just in the let's, front of the store, there's got to be at least a half a million pieces in the front of the let's store. Let's be conservative. Let's say it's 50,000 pieces. And she has sold 50,000 pieces in the past 10 years. It still wouldn't make sense to keep this much inventory on hand. I'm flabbergasted. Yeah. Oh, I my stomach is turning. There's a reason stores want to... It costs money to store inventory. Yeah. So it makes more sense to only stock as much as you need. And then, you know, and maybe a few extra. Uh, it does not make sense to have 100,000 pieces. It just doesn't. This, 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 I, this, I wouldn't. <laughs> There are no words. I, I would this, not be proud of this. This is not a blockbuster, right? This, this is not me being proud of anything. I'm, I'm seriously, legitimately concerned and having extreme I'm sad. anxiety I'm and PTSD. Sad. I'm sad for her. Even though her downline is paying for most of this. Yeah. Okay, so there's there's that one. All right, so... Wow. um. That's a lot. That's a lot of stuff. And I'm sure if if she sees this, she'll go on to her live and say, you don't know. You don't know the figures. I'm selling jewelry right and left. You don't know how much I'm making. I'm, I'm a super girl boss and yada, yada, yada. I just remember no. pictures of back in the day, and this is like way back in the day, when there was a picture of her in a basement with Patty Shevlin and a bunch of other people, and they were sitting in piles of jewelry piles and it's like why are you bragging about that uh and, uh unless you're gonna start your own mlm uh, uh competition to paparazzi if that were the case it one f you and two that's the only reason you would need this much inventory that's that's the kind of jewelry inventory you would need not for like your storefront and your uh, this is a palate cleanser, everybody. <laughs> your storefront and your Facebook Live, that's the kind of inventory you would need to run a worldwide business. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. And she'll say, oh, I do. I, I ship to people worldwide. But no. You, lit you, just you because literally can't in paparazzi. Yeah. You cannot yeah. ship to anyone outside of the United you, States or its territory. You ship to people who tune in to your Facebook. And they might be in different places. But, like, you're not advertising in Rome, right? You don't have a sh storefront. Come to Delaware. I just think of Wayne's World. Oh. Hi. 
We're in Delaware. <laughs> you know, where um, on Wayne's World, they're like... Stop. There's nothing wrong with Delaware. There is nothing wrong with Delaware, but I'm just thinking of Wayne's World, where they're like, hi, I'm from Delaware. Is it Delaware where they start all the uh, the corporations because their tax laws are really nice? Yes, their tax laws are really generous in Delaware. But anyway, that was... That That's was sad. kind of shocking it's and sad. sad. It's so. sad to her downline because it's what it's, I don't know. It feels even worse that you you're bankrupting your downline when you're not even going to save your ill-gotten gains. Yeah, your ill-gotten you're gains just, are going to more inventory. Turn around and use it. Like this, this seems to me like a hoarder, but a hoarder for jewelry. And, and she, I feel like a hoarder sometimes because I still have a shit ton of that stuff. And she's where she's just starting a storefront. To Ten cut, years plus later. To, to help legitify her addiction. Yeah. I, uh, I hope you can sell even a fraction of that. I hope you're able to clear out a and good portion of your inventory even if, with and this And when you do, you'll just... You'll just fill it up with more. You should not have that much inventory. Left. Nobody should. If you were a legitimate business owner, you would have inventory management in place. That is an inventory mismanagement, in my humble Those, opinion. Most back rooms in stores are half the size yeah. of the front of the store. Her back room is larger than the entire storefront. And it's full. And, and the storefront is full. And jewelry takes up so little space, right? Like, if you went to a... Um, it's crazy. A shoe store and saw boxes and boxes like that like yeah that's a lot of inventory on hand but like you know a shoe box eats up like 10 times more space than a necklace yeah oh i hope you guys enjoyed this one with me and dave i just decided to get one more video out to all the all the viewers Thank you to the person who posted this on Reddit and reminded me that I actually had this video. Um, so I, I was like, you got to send pictures. Well, needless to say, I remembered I had pictures. So now I'm sharing it with the rest of you. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, thank you to all my new subscribers. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do so. Check to make sure you're still, still subscribed. Leave us Nailed a comment, it. give us a like, uh, share with somebody, you know, enjoy the anti-MLM content, and have a wonderful, merry Christmas, happy holidays, whenever you're watching this, it is Christmas Eve Eve here. Alright you guys, thanks for being here, have a great day, bye.